Welcome to Radflix 1993. My name is Joe. These are just opinions. I am Joe Pinionated. What is a rad flick? A rad flick is a movie that has stood the test of time. Forget what those asshats, the critics, the award shows told you to like in 1993. We're fixing history. We have a panel of normal Canadians certifying movies rad since 1980. Oscar for Best Picture went to Schindler's List. Best Director, Steven Spielberg. We got some better movies for you. In 1993, lost some legends. River Phoenix. Uh, apparently the movie Titanic, James Cameron was writing the role of Jack for River Phoenix. Audrey Hepburn, Andre the Giant, Legend of Wrestling. 1993, this is kind of when I stopped watching. That would be WrestleMania 9, if you're keeping track of that. Andre the Giant, hero of mine growing up. Conway Twitty, also the Texas Tornado wrestler, Kerry Von Erich. Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's son, died in a tragic onset accident in 1993 during the making of his film, The Crow. First category for 1993, we're going with Raddest Horror. So there's seven finalists. First finalist based on a novel by Stephen King. That's about the 30th time we've said that on Radflix so far. Our first finalist for Raddest Horror Suspense in 1993 is The Dark Half. Timothy Hutton, Amy Madigan, directed by George A. Romero. The Dark Half. Next up, starring Warwick Davis from Willow and Jennifer Aniston. The movie is The Leprechaun. That's right, Jennifer Aniston. The Leprechaun, directed by Mark Jones. I am the Leprechaun. I am the Leprechaun. Leprechaun. Razio Wayne's role. Next up, directed by Guillermo del Toro, Kronos. Starring Federico Lupe and Ron Perlman. This is a Mexican horror movie. Creepy. Terrifying, really. Next up, starring Carrie Uis and Alicia Silverstone. The movie is The Crush. Directed by Alan Shapiro. I remember renting this with some buddies and thinking it was a bit of a thriller. Alicia Silverstone. We used to be absolutely in love with her. The Crush. Next up, directed by Philip Noyce with Billy Baldwin and Sharon Stone. The movie is Sliver. Edgier Seat Thriller. Sharon Stone's back. Sliver. Directed by Fraser C. Heston. Written by Stephen King. This time in Castle Rock, Maine. The movie is Needful Things. Starring Max Von Sido and Ed Harris. This guy moves to town. He's the devil. He has a shop, a pawn shop, or whatever you want the most will be available there. Needful Things. Unbelievable how many stories this guy had. Stephen King. Awesome, man. Last but certainly not least. Directed by Robert Lieberman. Fire in the Sky. Starring Robert Patrick, D.B. Sweeney. Based on a true story. This man abducted by aliens. Horrifying. We talked about uh, Unsolved Mysteries in the last list. Fire in the Sky, the movie is kind of on a level with Unsolved Mysteries. This one scared the crap out of a lot of kids. The only thing that's not scary about this movie is if you watch an interview with the real guy that claims this happened to. It, it just doesn't really sound that credible to me. Anyways, that's just me. An erratus horror suspense of 19. 19- 93 goes to fire in the sky this one screwed up a lot of kids shout out to amy fire in the sky Hoo-wee. next up raddest comedy 1993 the finalists there's 10 of them first up johnny depp mary stewart masterson starring jeremiah chetchik's benny and june don't think i ever saw that one but we have a panel of normal people so there's movies that'll get through that i haven't seen and i'm not claiming to have seen every movie ever next finalist starring nancy travis and mike myers directed by thomas shlami the movie is So I Married an Axe Murderer. Woman. Whoa, man. Whoa, man. Heed. Paper. No. Shout out to the George Jordan Van. I know he loved this movie. Next finalist goes to Groundhog Day, starring Andy McDowell and Bill Murray. Groundhog Day. Directed by Harold Ramis. I guess him and Bill Murray had a falling out during the making of this movie and didn't even talk to each other towards the end of it. It's hard to imagine such a classic movie having such a humongous riff happen during this. Harold Ramis and Bill Murray, of course, have worked on plenty of movies before this. Next up is National Lampoon's Loaded Weapon. Samuel L. Jackson, Emilio Estevez. Directed by Gene Quintana. Next up, starring Carla Cugino and Pauly Shore. The movie is Son-in-Law, directed by Steve Rash. So Pauly Shore had a string of great movies. He was the son of Mitzi Shore. She ran the, the comedy store in LA, Hollywood. There was a documentary about Pauly Shore later on too that was really great. Who is Pauly Shore? Or Pauly Shore is dead or something like that. It was really great. Next finalist for Radis Comedy 1993 goes to Wayne's World Part 2. Wayne's World 2, starring Dana Carvey and Mike Myers. This is the one where they tried to 
do Wayne stock. Wayne has a dream and Aerosmith will come and, and Aerosmith shows up to Wayne stock. Next up for Radis comedy, 1993 is dazed and confused directed by Richard Linkletter Linklater starring Jason London, Wiley Wiggins, a whole slew of other kids, teenagers. First time that I watched this movie, I actually watched it two and a half times in a row. Loved it. The last graduating class of the seventies. Some people th- think it doesn't age well. I think it movie gets better with age. I think it's a fantastic movie. Uh, Uh, One of the greatest coming of age comedies, dramas of all time. Incredible soundtrack too. Before I forget, I love the soundtrack. Have that on vinyl. Next up, Mrs. Doubtfire starring Sally Field, starring Robin Williams, directed by Chris Columbus. So he's the guy that wrote The Goonies, wrote Gremlins, directed Home Alone, directed Harry Potter, directed Mrs. Doubtfire. I have an episode on this channel. If you want to learn more about Chris Columbus, I will be doing Robin Williams episodes in the future. I remember seeing this one four times in the theater. Up next, Radis Comedy, 1993, Grumpy Old Men, starring Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon. Directed by Donald Petrie. Great supporting cast as well. Daryl Hannah, acting legends, and Jack Lemon and Walter Matthau. And this is just one of those fun, easy to watch comedies. The winner, Raddus Comedy in 1993, goes to Groundhog Day, starring Bill Murray and Andy McDowell. Directed by Harold Ramis. Hilarious, excellent movie. Runner up for Raddus Comedy of 1993 goes to Wayne's World Part 2. Third place, it's So I Married an Axe Murderer, tied with Mrs. Doubtfire. Up next, Action Side. Sci-fi adventure. The finalists are Demolition Man, directed by Marco Brambilla. Brambilla, starring Sylvester Stallone, Wesley Snipes, Sandra Bullock, Dennis Leary. I love Demolition Man. It's about the future where everybody's really soft and all the bad people live in the sewers. I think there was like a big earthquake. You're not allowed to swear anymore. There's some sort of mystery on how to flush the toilet. I was a kid when this came out, and it was awesome. Certified rad. I've watched it many times since. Simon Phoenix. Up next directed by Steven Spielberg. So he made this movie back to back with Schindler's List, which is just crazy to me. The movie is Jurassic Park starring Laura Dern and Sam Neill. This was a big deal. This movie was a huge, huge blockbuster, like definition of blockbuster. Everybody wanted to see it. Every store you went to had cups for sale for Jurassic Park, McDonald's, all the different fast food things, everything. This movie was amazing. They put dinosaurs onto the screen. We know more about dinosaurs now than they did back in 1993, but yeah, there's no feathered dinosaurs, but it's still great. Up next, directed by Andrew Davis, starring Tommy Lee Jones and Harrison Ford. The movie is The Fugitive. Dr. Richard Kimball said his wife was killed by the one arm by a one-armed man. Excellent action adventure movie. The Fugitive. Based off old TV show. Might have even been radio series, but it was definitely a TV show a long time ago. Will he find the one-armed man that actually killed his wife? And Tommy Lee Jones is a big deal for this movie, too. Or he got a lot of praise for this movie. Next up, directed by John McTierman, starring Austin O'Brien, Arnold Schwarzenegger. The movie is Last Action Hero. I remember ACDC having a song Big Gun on the soundtrack and I remember thinking this movie was kind of lame when I was a kid but it did gather a cult following next finalist action sci-fi adventure 1993 we'll go with I guess a bit of an action movie here Tombstone directed by George P. Cosmatos starring Val Kilmer Kurt Russell Sam Elliott many many more the gunfight at the OK Corral Doc Hollywood Wyatt Earp up next directed by Tony Scott starring Christian Slater Patricia Arquette Brad Pitt Dennis Hopper Christopher Walken, Chris Penn, written by Quentin Tarantino. The movie is True Romance. True Romance is right here. Incredible movie. I love the soundtrack. I love the Christopher Walken, Dennis Hopper scene. Incredibly violent and incredibly Quentin Tarantino. I mean, it's got Quentin all over it. It's got a whole bunch of tricks, a whole bunch of movie references. I think he sold this to raise the money to make Reservoir Dogs, how I remember it, but I could be totally wrong. Low on facts, high on opinions. Holy sh- Next finalist action sci-fi adventure goes to Fire in the Sky, based on the true story of Travis Walton getting abducted by aliens. Do not let your kids watch this. They will be horrified. Last finalist for action sci-fi adventure 1993 goes to Judgment Night, starring Emilio Estevez, Cuba Gooding Jr.
Jr. Dennis Leary is in it. Uh, Ari Gold from Entourage. Can't remember to think of his name right now. Jeremy Piven is in it. Guys end up in the wrong hood in a really fancy motorhome. Survive. Get out of this bad area. I told you I got no cure for cancer right down here. Love Dennis Leary. I had uh, Everlast from House of Pain was in it as well. Judgment Night. And a great soundtrack. Love the De La Soul with Teenage Fan Club. Fallen. Raddest action sci-fi adventure movie in 1993 goes to Jurassic Park. Pretty high votes across the board with the runner-up going to The Fugitive starring Harrison Ford. Those are two just elite action adventure movies. Next category is Family Movie Night. Finalists are as follows. First is Mrs. Doubtfire starring Robin Williams and Sally Field directed by Chris Columbus. Robin Williams doing all his different voices. I am Job. I am Job. I don't know where to start, where to end with this thing. It's just unbelievable watching Robin Williams do the cartoon voices too. Watching Robin Williams just put the camera on the guy. He was incredible. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. Very missed around our house and, and Mrs. Doubtfire is just like a standard at our house. One of our favorite movies, period. Next up, 1993 Family Movie Night. Produced by Tim Burton. The movie is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Directed by Henry Selleck. Catherine O'Hara does one of the voices in that one too. Canadian icon legend from the second city toronto with uh, john candy and those guys i think she's yeah she's toronto nightmare before christmas well it's a favorite around my house it didn't finish number one on my tim burton greatest movies of all time technically he didn't direct it my family hasn't talked to me ever since amazing songs amazing concept incredible plot incredible movie damn near close to perfect next family movie night 1993 one of my most watched family movies as a kid the sam lot david mickey evans directed that coming of age movie about these boys playing baseball in their neighborhood using their imaginations running amok chewing tobacco going to the fair playing in a tree house playing baseball summer movie a lot of my movies were given to me by a family and they had a thousand movies when i used to babysit i used to show this one to their kids a lot and this became one of their kids favorite movie without them i definitely wouldn't have watched so many movies next for family movie night uh this more grown-up kids movie for family movie night directed by robert de niro 1993's a bronx tale starring robert de niro and Chaz palmentary Chaz wrote this play i think i wrote this show gangster movie different perspectives bit with heart you're kind of cheering for the villain the real hero is the guy that goes to work and the saddest thing in life is wasted talent you only get three great women in your lifetime there's all these different themes and lines of this movie it's just chock full of them and Chaz, i guess grew up in sort of a rough part of town and i think this is sort of loosely based on his story and one of my favorite movies of all time up next 1993 another movie huge movie around our house Hocus Pocus, directed by Kenny Ortega, starring Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker. We currently have candles in our living room that are Hocus Pocus candles. We're in March right now. We definitely like a Tim Burton type of house around here. Next finalist goes to Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey, Homeward Bound, directed by Duane Dunham. Voices are Michael J. Fox, Sally Field, Homeward Bound. Next finalist from 1993, and just watched this this week with my daughter, Rookie of the Year, starring Gary Busey, Thomas Ian Nicholas, directed by Daniel Stern. So that's Marv from Home Alone. Also, does the voice in the wonder years we're actually on the sixth season of the wonder years in 1993 basically my favorite tv show growing up was the wonder years sixth season being the final season what an incredible finale this show is responsible for me loving so many different bands first of all music learning a ton of classic music through these shows everything about it i love the wonder years daniel stern plays fred savage's voice in his head kevin arnold's voice in his head and, and narrates the wonder years directs rookie of the year so maybe we're the boy from american pop he gets the, his tendon all messed up in his shoulder and he can all of a sudden he can play for professional baseball next up true story directed by john turtle tob turtle tob starring john candy the movie is cool runnings based on the jamaican bobsled team at the calgary 88 olympics i lived in alberta when the 88 olympics happened and i do not remember the story of the jamaican bobsled team until this movie came out in 1993 family movie cool runnings up next the sequel to adam's family adam's family values raw Julia and Angelica Houston again. This one's so funny. The kids are more grown up. They go off to camp. Unfortunate that these movies couldn't go on with the tragic early young death of Raul Julia. Final finalist for Raddus Family Movie of 1993 goes to Jurassic Park. 
directed by Steven Spielberg. And the uh, winner for raddest family movie of 1993 goes to The Sandlot. L7 Weenie. The Big Bambino. The Sultan of Swat. The Sultan of Swat. Love the swimming pool scene second place the nightmare before christmas to october movie prefer it as a halloween movie next category raddest drama raddest drama 1993 the finalists are california starring brad pitt and juliette lewis directed by dominic cena basically these people are documenting a bunch of serial killers going across the country visiting a bunch of different sites along the way they meet up with some bad people brad pitt was still sort of sniffing around at being super famous at this time that was kind of the, that was the role where i really remember him i don't remember watching true romance when i was a kid it was probably a little bit later first movie i really remember brad pitt was california California. Second finalist goes to Philadelphia starring Denzel Washington and Tom Hanks directed by Jonathan Demme again. Another movie directed by Jonathan Demme. It's a movie about this guy getting fired for letting his company know that he has AIDS. There's a trial in Philadelphia. Incredible soundtrack. Next up again, behind me there, right here, True Romance, directed by Tony Scott, Christian Slater, Patricia Arquette. Patricia Arquette is so cool and love those sunglasses that are later on used in Kill Bill. Incredible movie, incredible story, incredibly violent. Next up is Schindler's List. Horrifying. The Holocaust. Oscar Schindler was this Nazi that sympathized and helped save the lives of some of his the Jewish prisoners. Ray Fiennes plays this evil Nazi. His performance is incredible. Ben Kingsley. I think it should be mandatory that you should have to watch this movie at least once. Next finalist, Groundhog Day. Harold Ramis, Bill Murray. Get a shout out for Radis Drama. Another finalist, A Bronx Tale, directed by Robert De Niro, starring Chaz Palminteri and Robert De Niro. Collagerol. Joe Pesci has a cameo in this movie. C. C. Next finalist is What's Love Got to Do With It? Directed by Brian Gibson. Starring Lawrence Fishburne, Angela Bassett. Based on the life of Tina Turner. Her relationship with Ike Turner. Uh, rest in peace to Tina Turner. I love Tina Turner in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. I mentioned that in that movie on Radflix. Next up, starring Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Kind of romantic comedy. Rosie O'Donnell. Sleepless in Seattle. Meet me at the Empire State Building. We got to finally go to the Empire State Building. What was the first movie I thought of? Sleepless in Seattle. <laughs> directed by Nora Ephron. Next, Radis Drama, 1993. Directed by Brian De Palma. Starring Sean Penn and Al Pacino. The movie is Carlito's Way. Quentin Tarantino just idolizes Brian De Palma. And for good reason. Carlito's Way is with this guy this getting out of jail. Wants to go the straight and narrow and has a tough time with it. Pacino has so many memorable roles that this one easily gets forgotten about from time to time and it's fantastic next up a perfect world starring kevin costner and clint eastwood i can't remember why but kevin costner ends up kidnapping this boy he's a jehovah's witness it's just about their adventure together to being chased across the country by clint eastwood and the cops riding around in a in an airstream trailer excellent movie a lot of heart perfect world gets forgot about and it's directed by clint eastwood this was his follow-up to unforgiven the last finalist goes to Alive. Directed by Frank Marshall, starring Vincent Spano and Ethan Hawke. True story of a Uruguayan rugby team crossing the Andes, plane crashes, and the team has to survive in the Andes Mountains. They don't quite know where they are. They resort to some pretty desperate measures as supplies run out. Great book too. Crazy story narrated by John Malkovich. Nando and Canessa. Some honorable mentions and decent proposal. Falling Down. What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Jack the Bear. Blood In, Blood let out the pelican brief in the name of the father in the line of fire the winner is true romance director of top gun and beverly hills cop 2 tony scott quentin tarantino one of his early scripts runner up goes to a bronx tale and third place goes to schindler's list next is most watched this year on the panel there's five people radflix normal people panel for jesse third most watched is miss doubtfire second most watched is the sandlot and most watched is groundhog day for bob third most watched is loaded weapon second most watched is wayne's world 2 and most watched is jurassic park for caro Second most watched is Sleepless in Seattle. And most watched is Tombstone. Ian, third most watched is Jurassic Park. Second most watched is True Romance. Most watched is Groundhog Day. For myself, third most watched is Groundhog Day. Second most watched is Searching for Bobby Fischer. Another incredible drama that I didn't even get mentioned because 1993 is so stacked. Played chess with one of the grandmasters in Washington 
Madison Square Park in New York. My most watched for 1993 is A Bronx Tale. So the most watched by our group is Groundhog Day. And second what most watched by the Normal People panel is Jurassic Park. Finalist for raddest movie of 1993. First finalist is The Fugitive. Next up, raddest movie of 1993 finalist, The Sandlot. Groundhog Day, Jurassic Park. Park, True Romance, Schindler's List. Final finalist for Raddest movie of 1993 goes to The Nightmare Before Christmas, directed by Henry Zellick. Music and voice by Danny Elfman, too, for Jack, The Pumpkin King, Jack. And the Raddest movie of 1993, Raddest flick goes to It's Groundhog Day, I Got You, Babe. Yes, Harold Ramis and Bill Murray's final movie together, Groundhog Day, Raddest movie of 1993. You're not going to see that on any other list except for this one. Certified rad, stood the test of time. Groundhog Day, amazing, awesome movie. Runner up, Jurassic Park for raddest movie of 1993. That wraps up 1993. Like, comment, subscribe, live and let live. Feel free to gank my list. Remember to be normal. Thanks to the Normal People panel. Thank you to the musicians playing in the exit music here. Check out the link in the description for that. Also for the trailers, also for my Patreon, social media, all that stuff. You can find me at my friend Joe on YouTube and hashtag Joe Opinionated on all platforms. I'm sorry, I'm a little low on facts and high on opinions. Respect to the raddest flick of 1993 Groundhog Day. See you on the next one. Frost